This is a demonstration of how to operate our robot, a standard take drive. Before we start, make sure that you wait and init until the robot displays this robot ready telemetry. We use the left stick's Y axis to move the fo robot forward and backward and the right and the right button the right stick um, on the X axis to turn the robot. Most buttons here are toggles, meaning that if you press it once, it will perform an action. If you press it again, it will stop the action. This happens all on a single button. The carousel is operated by the X and Y buttons and is color coordinate coordinated to the red and blue side. If you press the X button, it's toggle, B button, toggle. The A button cycles through the bucket state, that little bucket at the edge of the linear slider. The first state is intake. The second state is this holding position with the intake bar over the uh, over the bucket so that balls and, and blocks do not come out while moving over the barrier. If you press the A button one more time, it'll go to the um, the intake bar but position out of the way. If you raise the slider and deposit something, press it again. And then if you want to go back down, use the left bumper to go all the way down. And you can also use the A button to go back to the intake position. The intake is operated by the right D-pad button, and there is no reversing. This button is also a toggle. The triggers operate the linear slider to move up and down manually. Right goes up, left goes down. The right bumper moves the slider to predetermined depositing heights. It is like the bucket cycle. It goes from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 and back down to level 1. The left bumper moves the bu bucket back to intake position and moves the linear slider all the way back down at the same time. This does not depend on what height the slider is at. So, so, so if I move it like this and maybe change uh, the depositing positions, if I press the left bumper, it'll go all the way back down. There are some safety stops to this control system. First, if you try to move the linear slider up while the intake bar is over the bucket, the intake bar will go out of the way and allow the slider to move. Here's a demonstration. So if I try to move the linear slider up, it will go out of the way. 